What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Well, it took a while, but we are out in it. And when you are in it, you know the importance of having good gear. So today we're going to talk about my picks for 2022. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Hey, before I get started, just wanted to wish everybody on behalf of Next Level, the YouTube channel, the man behind the camera, Stephen Clark, and I wishing all of you guys a very Merry Christmas. Hope it's an awesome one. Hope you're out riding, but I also hope you're staying safe while you're doing it. So gear picks. A year ago, I would have told you, told you my favorite gear I'm putting on every single day was by far the F3, the Climb F3 carbon helmet, as well as the Climb Havoc boot. Both of those pieces are now just part of my every single day that I go out riding. They've proven themselves, they're lightweight, they're waterproof, they're warm, they're durable, they're all those things. Going into 22, some brand new stuff from Climb. So we'll talk about the one piece that I'm wearing, you guys. This is the new Scout one piece. And to, to me, this thing has a ton of features that we'll get into here in a second. So by far my, my favorite pick of 22. And then you guys will see what I'm rocking. So these are the brand new heated glove from Climb. Lots of different features and benefits and we'll break each one of these down. All right, so let's break down the Scout one-piece suit from Climb here. And you guys see that I've, as usual, favorite color is black. They make it in a bunch of different colors. They've got it in orange, they've got it in a really cool blue. But the black suit for every day, for me as a guide, um, and keep in mind, there's a lot of stuff that I do in the wintertime, and you guys know from what I do with Next Level, I'm out here and I am in the snow. So it's not just a weekend experience, I am in the snow a lot. And so the Scout, and why it is my gear pick for 22 is, there are some really cool features to it. It's got reinforced knees, it's got a reinforced butt. There are a lot of times when I'm down on my knees working on a sled, whether it's mine or someone else's, whether we're building a fire, whether we're sitting next to the fire, you're just out in the elements a lot and there's a lot of situations where I'm not just behind the bars here, wide open throttle going and playing. There are a lot of things that guides and guys that are coaches and instructors that are out here doing where there is some time spent off of the snowmobile. So one of the other reasons is I like that I can layer underneath this. You can see that it's a bit baggier fit, a lot like a ripsaw. The other parts of it too that you guys will see from, uh, you know, when you read the tag, it's got an electronics pocket, which we'll kind of show you how that works. That's such an ideal spot. So cargo pockets on either side, which I've always wanted in a one piece, still has the suspenders inside like all of the other one piece suits from Climb. Um, inside here, guys, you've got this leather, inside of the leg and they call it Hellcore leather, which is already sounding badass. Remember that this thing was built somewhat off of the snow bike line of stuff. And the, to the snow biker, having the leather insides, having the fasteners that get a bit tighter down at the bottom so that you don't catch your pant legs on your pegs or on trees, things like that. And then the upper part of the reinforced saddle and some of those things, they were built around the timber sled guy. But for somebody like me, I want all of that mobility, those, re, uh, those reinforced areas, as well as, like I said, the volume so that I can move. We talk about how important our mobility is when we're doing all of those maneuvers. And it is so nice to know that even with protection on, I've got all kinds of mo mobility within my gear. All right, so to kind of round out the Scout in terms of the stuff that I like about it, uh, you got the Velcro enclosure gaiters. You still got the clip that hooks to your boot, keep the gaiters down. Again, the fit and finish, the arm length and everything else. I am about 5'8", 165 pounds. I wear a medium. It does fit me a bit baggy and I'm okay with that because again, I like to be able to layer. We've talked about this before, actually intro to the year when we were talking about our gear, our under layers, my legs don't typically get cold. Having all of this kind of beefed up, you know, beefed up knees, the leather on the insides, things like that. My legs don't ever get cold with the knee protection and everything else. Up top though, having that bit of volume in there, being able to run uh, a 1.0 and then run like an alloy jacket or maybe a puffy, maybe even a vest, just depending on the temperature and then what you're doing that day. The Scout offers all that internal room that allows us to be able to do that. So I feel like that, based on the price, it's sitting right there about the rip saw. And for the guy that's the crossover, the guy that has a sled but still likes snow biking, what a perfect piece that you can wear doing both types of sports, which I think is awesome. And again, the beefed up sections of it, it's the guy that's out there that's kind of blunt force trauma. So it's built for guys that are going to get in the trees, get in the sticks, and be rough on their gear, and I feel like it's going to handle it. All right, so my next pick for 2022 is a heated glove. So this is the new Climb HTD, standing for heated, right? And so this is the Power Cross. 
Uh, they believe, I believe they make one in a Tundra, like a really beefed up glove that is uh, battery operated like this. But this one, guys, for day to day. So would I be riding like core tree riding, everything else? And the answer is probably not. I am a big fan of like an uninsulated, just the GTX waterproof, real like good feel of our brake and throttle, right? And you guys have heard me talk about that before, but for a way in, way out glove, as well as a glove, if there were ever an emergency, the HTD Power Cross, you gotta be kidding me, this thing is so cool, guys. Um, so it's got a battery powered setup, you charge these things at night, and I would recommend doing that. I wore these things yesterday, and you know, running them on high, you're gonna get about an hour and a half of just the coziest hands you could ever imagine. Running them on the second setting, and I'll kind of show you that, it's red, blue, and green. The second setting, you get about four hours, three to four hours, somewhere there, and then that last setting, minimal heat, but remember, it's already an insulated glove, but you'll get up to eight hours having that additional heat from that battery, which is really, really cool. People that have cold hands, bad circulation, heck, you're just out here and you rode so long and hard, your hands are soaking wet and they're starting to get cold at the end of the day. How awesome is it to know that somewhere on your snowmobile, someplace hopefully dry, you've got a set of the Powercross HTD. So real simple guys, and I can show you on the glove that I've got on. So you're gonna push and hold and boom, you've got the red light, that's the high setting. And then you're just one touch technology here. That's that center section. You're gonna get about three hours of a heated section of your glove and remember that the way this works is that the insulation, and this got asked on one of my Instagram, uh, somebody direct messaged me about the heated glove, where the heat is coming from, and it's through the fingers, and then it's through the backside of the glove, which is really nice. So we keep that leather palm, no insulation in and through here, and it's so that we can have that real good grip of our handlebars, so we can still really get to our throttle and our brake, and then all that heat kind of running through here. But blue setting there, and then tap one more time to the green, and then you'll go back and cycle through to the red until we push and hold and then we can power it off. And what I did yesterday, which was really unique, was um, I'd get them good and warm and then I'd just power them off. And how much that insulation would hold that heat in there, you didn't need a lot. And it was just so fantastic to have uh, a little bit of technology helping us when we're out here. We're wanting to ride and enjoy ourselves and that's the whole point of having good gear. Good gear makes a, a great day out of, well, we're out here, it's, it's snowing, it's blowing, we got snow coming over our hoods, coming over all of our gear, being able to stay warm and dry. Again, full Gore-Tex product, you're gonna stay warm, you're gonna stay dry. Again, awesome pick, and why it's my pick for 2022. You guys remember that this channel is all about you. We are building this channel around information, information that we all know we need, especially when we're out in it, when we're in the elements. So again, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you guys like my top picks for 2022. Remember, nextlevelshap.com, this stuff is available. I get it, this will be after Christmas, but talk about a belated awesome Christmas gift. A set of these gloves in the stocking. I mean, if you were good, you might see either one of these. I don't know how a onesie's gonna fit in your stocking, but who cares? You guys remember, leave those questions and comments below. We appreciate those subscriptions and we will see you next time.